While the pandemic has many of us feeling more restricted than ever before, Eric Wyant has never felt more free. After 14 years in prison, he was released Saturday. By today's laws, Wyant wouldn't have been there in the first place. Legal experts told us he would have gotten a month uh, of, 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 uh, in prison or in jail instead of the decade and a half that he actually served. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford talked to Wyant in his first interview since getting out of prison. How old are you now? 37? Yeah. <laughs> in 2006, at 22 years old, Eric Wyatt got into a fight when leaving a Lakeland bar. He fired his gun into the parking lot. He said it was out of self-defense. The things that I did were to protect myself. No one was hurt. Wyatt had no criminal record. Ultimately, a jury convicted him of aggravated assault with no intent to kill. At the time, the state's tough on crime 1020 life law required a mandatory 20 year sentence for anyone found guilty of firing a gun in the commission of a crime. The wind just got sucked right out of you. You know, I looked at my parents. The law changed in 2016, removing aggravated assault from the 1020 life law, but it was not retroactive meaning Wyatt had to complete the sentence. After 14 years, just last week, the court took another look and released him. A little bit of kind of a stun, kind of numbness, maybe a little bit, but just um, just kind of like a major weight uh, a relief. Wyatt developed a strong spirituality while in prison. He holds no resentment and makes no excuses. There's a purpose and a point to all this, and so I need to understand that and get in line with it instead of fighting it. So. He's now focusing on establishing his new life and looking at career possibilities. But eventually, he wants to work as an inmate advocate. There are certainly people in there that um, legitimately probably should never see the, you know, the light of day again. But there's a whole lot of people that sincerely deserve a second chance. Before our conversation today, he had a bit of a crash course learning how to use the iPad and Zoom. Two things that were not around when he went into prison in 2007.